see you there. I'm back in my shed. What I've got today is this set of shipping scales I bought off eBay 20 years ago. Maybe 15. You might see a manufacturing date on here as we go. It's been stored in an outside cupboard since I moved to this house and that was in 2012. Nope. I moved in 2007. So yeah, they've been here for quite a while now. It's actually the second set that I've owned because the first set came. Um, I believe I plugged them in and they were faulty. So after an argument, because I believe they came from America, uh, they sent me a new set which I plugged in and again it broke. They never worked. I've got a feeling now after doing this, you know, just this sort of hobbyist repairing, I think I might have had the wrong polarity on here, which has caused them to go proper faulty. Because it is positive outer, and most of what I have today, the positive is the inner part of the plug where uh, outer you do get from the Sega Game Gear adapters 9 to 12 volts so I'm guessing these are 9 I think these are 10 volts DC the output but anyway they run off these so that's a 6 volt I'm trying to do them anyway. They're, they're really good scales. This is why I wanted them. They go up to 14 kilogram. 1 to 14 kilogram. Or they do 0 to 1 kilogram in 2 gram. Well, pop some fresh batteries in just to make sure that, you know, whilst they've been sitting in that cupboard, they haven't magically decided to work again. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so it don't work. You see, it's my adapter from the Sega Game Gear. Put that in there. And nothing. Okay. So, chances are, when I reverse the polarity on it, something blew inside. Hopefully, it's just a fuse that sent in the wrong polarity. Oh yeah, you've got this as well, so you push this tab. You pop this, it pops off.
and a few around the seat there. If anywhere, I'm doing. comes into there and onto this rail, this track and then disappears from the screen to the vista or there's through the board onto this balloon Get another one. It's a Q, it's a Q is a transistor, isn't it? I'm quite happy, it's taking a lot longer than that to troubleshoot something. Lifted from that leg. And actually, I think that one might be alright. Make sure that this second one is Thank 
it's just enough to make it shiny. When I get the new transistor, I'll come through. This one will be fine. This one, I'll just have to make sure there's plenty of solder to bridge. And then that one, fine. Right, so I need to go away, look this up, and order one. So, I'll be back in three weeks, but I'll see you in a moment. Alright, and it's a couple of days later now. Uh, I haven't been able to get into my shed because there's been some building work going next door. Um, two things wrong with that. One, the noise that they've been making has been awful, and the other one is... If I can hear them, they can hear me. It just means I think the crazy bloke next door is talking to himself in his shed again. Which I am. Which is disturbing. But anyway, these have come. They only took two days to arrive. Um, it's a pack of five. Uh, the numbers are the same. So I'm just going to pop it back into there. Okay, I'll zoom in. I'll just solder it in. I'm going to give a comment for it and then we'll see if that fixes it. Right, looking at that, I remember now there's some uh, bridging needs to go on, isn't it? So let's just see what sort of continuity we've got at the moment. Let's have a look between here to the top part of this one. Here. Nope. Is there? Is in there? So a decent solder ball there. Look, we'll it's continuity kind of through. This one looks pretty solid. This one, as you can see, is not so nothing there at all. So I'll go try and bridge from here to here. I've exposed the copper. I have to excuse the rain, it's the middle of May, it should be blazing sunshine like it was this time last year, but it's not as pouring down. Okay, let's see what we can do with this.
Let's go test the win to the ass. I think I'm fighting a losing battle. I'm just going to make sure that anything that I sold it in isn't actually shortened to something that shouldn't. So this one you can see joins to here. Okay, it still looks messy here first. Definitely not sure from there. No, definitely a connection there. And from there it goes to there, which is connecting. This one goes from there to there, which is fine. And this one goes from there to there, which is fine. It then goes from there to here. Also fine. All connections are now made. And they thought so if I can Losing hope. Huh? That is measuring my multimeter. My multimeter I should go to zero. No. But I've got a zero switch, which is yeah. Oh no, that's a tear switch. No. Uh, this one's to change it from kilograms to pounds and ounces. Oh, this, this arrow here, so this is grams, pounds and ounces, next one down is kilograms, next one down is pounds. Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm really happy, I'm really surprised and happy. Switching off and... So I'm guessing it's just that, that connection from there to there which made us put the jumper wire on. Okay, so I'm going to get this back together. Well, I'll clean this up. Pop it back together and then uh, give it a proper test. something surely yep and I have a bag of sodium carbonate and this is 1000 grams guess the bag's going to weigh something switched off already okay, zero pop that on and that weighs 1,025 grams. So, great, really happy with that. So we'll call that an end to the video. That is the My Weight Ultra Ship Ultra 30 postage scales. Spent around 20 years in a coal cupboard 
uh, broken through my own stupidity of using the wrong polarity power supply. And now cleaned up and ready to work. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. I have, that's for sure. I usually do. Um, and uh, I'll see you next time I've got something in my shed. Well, take care and bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.